So what happens next? You've done it once. Uh, if you're like everybody else, including me, um, your first attempt at doing this, even your fifth attempt at doing this, is probably not as great as you would like it to be. There's only one way that I know that you can keep getting better at it, and that is to keep repeating it. So rigorously try different approaches, change it a little bit, go to and do this in front of someone who's unbiased. Don't go to a friend, don't go to your mom, don't go to someone who wants to please you. Um, go to other people and try it. It's a tedious process, but it's a lot better than refining your pitch by going to 20 VCs and each time getting a little bit better in that process. Someone like Pandora, Tim Westergren did this over 300 times with 300 VCs, and by the end of it, he had honed his pitch so well that he was able to get 50 or 60 employees to work for two years without getting paid. So go back, try it you know, at least 20 times, but if you can, use the template that we've provided you to do it as many, many times as you can. Now here's the, here's the good news of doing it. This work might be tedious, but the statements that you come up with at the end of it are not just for raising money. They actually help you understand better your own motivations, and they help you with motivating employees, with attracting employees, with attracting partners. When you go back to Kareem, whenever they run into trouble, they keep going back to the elements of the pitch that I talked about. Why are we here? Why is it worth the incredible effort it takes to build a company? Uh, and so after a while, the pitch that you're making and your reason for actually putting in this extraordinary effort tend to merge together. It becomes your reason for doing the things that you do. Most entrepreneurs I know find this to be a really difficult process. They want to focus on building the product. They want to focus on getting out into the market, uh, on doing things that they think move them forward. But like, you know, like exercise, like diet, like any of those things that you know are good for you, but they're just hard to be disciplined to do, this is the same way. Uh, the way you get better is by doing more and more of it. So how do you actually cross that, that bridge? How do you actually get to the point that you want to do more? One way to do it is to make a commitment. So if you find this useful, uh, what I'd urge you to do is before you leave the room, write down and make a commitment for how many times you're gonna run your, your pitch, and then see if you can have somebody on your team or one of your colleagues who's next to you, um, take that and both of you make that commitment so that over the next week, over the next two weeks or so, you, you actually go through the process. Uh, and just like exercise, you will find that if you do it, it will make you healthier and happier and better at making your business successful.